Hi, I'm Karen. Hi, I'm Mo. Hi, I'm Hillary. Hi, I'm Peter. Hi, I'm Tunon. Our NASA developed team at the University of Georgia partnered with Disney's Animal Kingdom and Proyecto Titi to help them protect a critically endangered primate. Meet the Cotton Top Tamarin. They are small monkeys that live in northwestern Colombia and South America. Known for their big fluffy white hairdos, Cotton Tops love spending time in trees feeding on fruits, insects, nectar, and flowers. They are social animals living in groups dominated by a female and rely on mature forests for protection from predators including snakes, raptors, wildcats, and more recently humans. Contoms have been losing habitat for the past few decades as forested lands have been cleared and converted for agriculture and cattle ranches. As agriculture increases, the homes of contops shrink, creating isolated patches. With these islands of habitat, tamarins cannot easily cross to new areas, reducing genetic diversity and increasing competition for food with non-native species. The remaining patches of forest need to be protected and connected to bring back the tamarins and other species that rely on these forest ecosystems. Orbiting around our planet, NASA's Earth observing satellites like Landsat 8 can image the Earth's surface from space, allowing us to monitor the effects we have on our planet. And that's Andromeda! The Landsat imagery helps us to model priority areas for conservation. We worked with our project partners to understand what was important. We then assessed several landscape characteristics to locate areas that would be suitable for protection. Building off national parks and currently protected areas can greatly enhance the restoration of forested lands. We looked for areas that were in close proximity to existing protected areas. We wanted to help our partners find the largest remaining forest patches and work towards connecting them. We measured their area to identify the patches with the greatest size. Rounder, more contiguous forest patches are perfect for cotton tops. We used a landscape metric called edge density, the ratio of perimeter to area of a forest patch, to locate these uninterrupted forests. It's important for the tamarind's habitat to be far enough away from the roads for safety, but close enough that researchers have access to monitor this fragile species. This is why we considered walking distances from the roads to the forested habitat. As human populations grow, people enter the forest in search of resources, impacting the ecosystem. We measure distances to cities and towns to ensure the impacts from these developing areas were minimized. The results will assist our project partners in selecting land for purchase and protection. Our project is tied to a larger collaborative effort that addresses the conservation needs of the animals and the local community. We have both the great challenge and potential to work together to redraw the tamarind's future.